For this week's project, we are going to be making fall wreaths so you can hang on your front door and let your neighbors know that fall is here. So let's get started. You're going to need scissors, a glue stick, a paper clip, a single hole punch, and something to write with, a pen, marker, or whatever you have laying around. You'll also need a plate and something round to trace out the cutout center of that plate and a nice decorative insert for fall. Lastly, don't forget all those colorful leaves that you collected. We're gonna need those, so get those out. Let me clean up this mess I just made and then we'll get started. For our first step, we won't need any of these things other than our plate and our circle and our pen, so you can put the other things aside for now. We'll use those later on in the project. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to take your plate and you want to put down your circle that you got to trace around and you want to draw a line around that object. For this part, you might need to grab an adult or somebody who can help you cut out the center. But once you have your circle drawn, you can cut along that line and cut out the center. I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife, which you're going to need an adult for. Once you got the center cut out, you wanna take the center and set it aside because you'll need this for later on in the project. The next thing you'll want to do is grab your one hole punch and you're going to go around the edge and punch holes about an inch and a half apart all the way around. Doing the outside on the very outside and then as far as you can get in with the one hole punch, we're just going to punch random holes all the way around. Once you have that done and you've punched out the very outer row and the middle row, you want to go along the inside and do the same thing. So punch holes on the inside, but we're just going to do one line of holes. Now we're all done and your project should look something like this. Just a paper plate with a bunch of little tiny holes in it. It doesn't matter how many holes you put in it but the more, the more options you have for weaving your leaves in. Okay, now I'm gonna do a quick cleanup and we're gonna get started on the next part of this project. For the next step, you're going to need to grab your leaves and <coughs> you can organize them by color if you want. You can do anything you want. I felt found it easier if I organized them by color a little bit so that I can add green, different colors in different places. So you're gonna need your leaves and you're gonna need your ring. All right, so we're gonna set our leaves aside and I'm gonna grab one leaf with a long stem. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on one side, go in to my plate, and then I'm gonna come back out in any hole I really want to. It doesn't matter as long as you weave it in through twice. Now your leaf is gonna stay there. So you get your next leaf and you do the same thing. And you work your way around your wreath. So you're gonna to wanna to put your stem in the bottom and it's gonna come back out the top like that. And then you can pull it tight to its spot. So the next one, I'm gonna pick a red leaf and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stick it in a hole and then it's going to oh, get flipped over. So you want to make sure your leaf is turned the right direction and then it needs to go through a hole over here. So I'm just going to put it through a hole. Now, if you look at the back, your back is going to look like this, where the leaf came in and where the leaf comes back out the top, like so. So you continue this process around the entire 
wreath, filling it up with as many leaves as you want. And you can put them really close together or you could put them a little bit farther apart. In. And out. And you can go into one that's there's already a branch into. That's fine. And out. Sometimes there'll be a loose one, so you might want to put this one, weave that one back in, just so it's out of your way. leaves because I ran out but I'm going to show you how to do the end part where you might have this little gap where they don't quite connect. Now it's pretty easy and it's the same as everything that you've been doing. You're still going to weave it in and out but you're going to take your leaf and you're going to lift these leaves up a little bit and just stick your other leaf back there to make sure that you have full coverage around your wreath. So I'm going to put a couple extra ones in there and like I said, I got some new leaves. I can look around and see any spots I miss and do the same thing by lifting the leaves up, finding another hole and putting it in there. So I'm gonna finish up the wreath. I'm all finished with my wreath now. And if you've done this correctly and have woven your leaves at least through two holes, none of your leaves should fall off or be loose. If you really want to secure it, you can put some scotch tape around the edge and tape your leaves in, but you don't need to. So I'm going to set this aside for a second and make the centerpiece for our wreath. To do this, I'm going to need my glue stick, my cute little insert for the center, and the center of the plate. So I'm going to reuse the center of the plate. So I'm going to take the glue stick and like always, using the glue stick correctly and not having a ton of glue out, I just need a little bit and I'm gonna glue, put glue all over the back of the happy fall sign. All right, so there we go, there's our glue. And let's press it down nice and firmly so it's nice and smooth and we can put away our glue. Once that's dry, you're going to want to take a pair of scissors and cut around your image. Next, I'm going to grab my hole punch and I'm going to punch a small hole at the top of my side. Then I'm going to take my paper clip and I'm going to weave it through so that it is on the bottom of the paper clip like that so that we are at the bottom of the paper clip next we're going to grab our wreath again and we're going to decide which side we want the top to be and this was where we're going to hang our insert so what i want you to do is i want you to bend the paper clip ever so slightly and then find a hole in your wreath that doesn't have a leaf through it I'm going to pick this hole right here. All right. So now I can put my centerpiece out in the middle and I can go hang this on my front door. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project and good luck on yours. Bye. <laughs>